Day one, a group of four people preparing a neighborhood picnic. Hey, good late morning. It's 11.13 a.m. and the neighborhood workers are continuing the construction right near the pool from yesterday evening. Check out that t-shirt down there in Timberland. Hey! So if you haven't seen yesterday's video, one of my teeth has been pulled out. We done it. We defeated my biggest enemy that I was complaining about through the winter. And like we had to get it done anyway. This was even bigger of an operation than the one that I would done when I was 14 years old. What a victory. It was pretty difficult at first. Like it took time to take it out. It was not a completely easy job, but they it's done. There you go. Yeah, and at least I can speak much better. Now my speaking is 75% back to normal. Like when I speak or when I eat, like I still do face the difficulties handling like right after removing the teeth. Plus they have put some stitches around it. And like on the first two or three days, it's pretty hard to handle it when you're speaking, when you're eating, or when you're even drinking something, or I don't know, if you're doing a walk, or if you're wearing headphones and something like that, or especially when you're in bed. It was so nice yesterday evening. I, I had a long sleep last night. It was so relaxed. I slept 13 hours last night, and after that tooth removal, I had the longest sleep that I have ever had in my life. I'm not even kidding. The longest sleep I ever had in my life. 13 hours. Let's make sure that we got iced tea. Nice. We got three packs of iced tea. A total of 18 iced tea cans. Yes, I can drink iced tea, but I can't drink tea. Like the doctors that advise me to avoid hot drinks. Any type of hot water, pretty much. So yeah, now I've been through what I can eat and what I can't eat, at least throughout this short period. Now, I was thinking to make today a food-free day, but the doctors had advised me at least eat something. No crunchy food, but at least have something smooth to eat through the day so we can get through this process in a shorter period of time. So this is some, um, it's not even like a pudding. It's not even dessert soup. <laughs> Why am I calling it even that? But it tastes pretty well. Like the dentist had said, I definitely have some ice cream through the day. Like as much as we can get through this process. This is kind of similar to yogurt. Actually, let me try one more. Yeah, tastes delicious. Day one, a group of four people preparing a neighborhood picnic. Hope you enjoy that there, folks. Oh yeah, obviously I said it to them when I said, hope you enjoy it, folks. Like I'm saying to the ones that are doing the picnic. Because usually when I say things like that, I talk to you guys, my viewers. But yeah, let's just hope that these guys enjoy. Wow, they're even making a tent. Oh my God. You might not see, but they're making a tent. It's fantastic. Showing those silly cats out in the balconies and them lifting the floors, oh my God. Imagine they lift all the floors in an earthquake. Okay, yeah, guys, I've gone out of home, in the neighborhood, about to do shopping. Well, check that color out, that car. It smells, oh my God, it smells really nice, this garage. Wonderful. I guess it smells like the petrol the car that's been taken from the engines. Anyways, so today I'm gonna do neighborhood shopping. Aha, uh -huh, that one. That one over there. Hoping to get some vanilla ice cream. So let's get it. Okay, well, that was short. Got the ice cream that I wanted. It's chocolate vanilla. Not only vanilla, although my mom is expecting vanilla, like just vanilla is okay. It was both chocolate and vanilla. It was simple. That's all I wanted. <laughs> ah, cat free. It's kind of cat free out here. 
today because at least I got what I wanted. So I prepare the milkshake. Pretty good. <laughs> kind of funny. Here in the park, it's still open. That's nice. Well, not gonna go to the park today. It's open, we're not gonna go there. All I wanted to do was neighborhood shopping. Well, now, tear that comb. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, guys, that last clip that I recorded, that was so strange. That water leaking out like a flood right after a heavy thunderstorm hits. <laughs> Honestly, I thought that was possibly due to the floors being plucked out while changing the style of how near the pool looks but it wasn't it was just an overflow in the pipelines or something is what i've heard from the neighborhood workers but yeah that was a nice neighborhood walk i chose not to do an exercise like i just wanted to do shopping around the neighborhood and i just want to see what kind of ice creams that they have like a box of ice creams and they didn't have so many apparently but at least i found the right one I mean, yeah, even though I just had like a smooth bit of food, like we were planning to actually have like a milkshake throughout this time that I have to avoid crunchy foods, where, I, where the only thing I could really eat is something smooth or the only things I can drink. I mean, other than iced tea and stuff are some smooth drinks, like iced tea and water still pretty much okay, like helps this whole painkiller process end sooner than later. Ow, ow, ow. Hey, Mr. Kitten. <laughs> uh oh, Mr. Kitten ran away, folk. Hey! Like a good thing, not too many flies flying around here. I was thinking that there could be plenty due to this weather. And guys, I'll show you an update with the pool. Look. Wow. Ho -ho. To be honest, I don't know when they started this whole thing. But I believe that they're gonna move to the middle of the pool, I think. So they have got to right up here. And I'm expecting that by the end of the weekend, they'll move all the way up to here. Here yeah, guys, I had another walk in the neighborhood. Not an exercise, but just to check how the pool is doing. Anyway, so I'm checking this Chinese and Sushi Express, which obviously get some Chinese food. You can even get a nigiri set. This is fantastic. I mean, I haven't even tried Chinese food. I can try the chicken though. Like, I mean, not nowadays, of course. Not until I get this painkiller post teeth removal kind of... Maybe I should rather say until our next dentist appointment whenever we get there. Because they'll get to see what's going on and all that. So there's a plenty of Chinese food over there. I mean, I never had Chinese food. But the chicken is pretty nice. I mean, I haven't tried. Again, I haven't tried any type of Chinese food, but I'm confident that they have quality chickens, almost like the chicken that you get from Popeyes. Not too similar, but kind of like the chicken that you get from Popeyes. Oh man, it is still 5.09 p.m. And I was just about to hibernate. Never at this early hour, while it's still 5 p.m., how I ever felt like I was gonna hibernate like a grizzly bear during the winter season in the deep forest trying to hide from the bats. <laughs> wow. Anyway, so this is a mix of fruits. But yeah, it's a milkshake, you can definitely see. Hmm. Tastes really good. Just a few hours ago, I had some smooth type of food. And now it's a milkshake, which is one other way to heal this pain attacking after the tooth removal process faster, like bring it to a healing point. So there's plenty of ingredients in this. We would put the cupcakes. It tastes pretty nice. Good thing that we didn't put too much like cream on the top of it because like in Starbucks when you get a frappuccino or in a fast food restaurant you get a milkshake like the cream at the top but yeah still tastes pretty good with all those ingredients hey guys just take a look at what I'm doing 
Uh oh. Oh no! Yeah, we're just swinging it around like in a kid's park. Oh, a slinky kebab. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, look at that one. Hey! <laughs> Oops. Okay, guys. Yeah, guys. So, I am going to just about end the vlog right here. Still early, but even though it's been a day, it's going to take a while to get through. That was just kind of a comedy style so that means again like i did yesterday evening, i'm gonna get to bed early so that means i'm also gonna end the vlog pretty early too thank you so much for watching i'll see you in tomorrow's vlog have a good day